hello, hello, and welcome everybody. Let's hope you guys can all hear me. Let's go ahead and turn down the volume a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's hope you guys can all hear me. Yep, the levels look pretty good. All right. Uh, holy smokes. First of all, I don't even think anybody's in here right now. <laughs> I, oh, my time scheduling is so bad, guys. I scheduled with um, iPad beat making, uh, and I, uh, scheduled the wrong, I scheduled right during his stream. I should probably have started a little bit later. So sorry, iPad beat making. Uh, iPad, shout out to iPadBeatMaking.com. Um, I tried to do Fridays at 10 a.m., but I guess you already kind of had this slot, so my bad. Uh, we're going to change this up to like 10.30. Uh, we're going to change this 10.30 from now on, Friday at 10.30. I'm going to have to update all the graphics, but that is, but that, but that is what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and update the uh, the stream and the graphics. <laughs> Crap. Um, oh well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if somebody comes up in here. Otherwise, we can just go ahead and make a make make a <clears throat> make a song while everybody's gonna come in. Cause more people will come in here after the iPad beat making show is is done. Um, so, yep, that was completely my bad. Good job, Jeff. Friday at 10 a.m. Um, that was my bad. Let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and media new project. No, whoa, whoa, let, me, let me look at my notes to see what we're even going to stream today, shall we? Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. So happy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh goodness! Can't believe this scheduling horribleness, guys. Unbelievable. Terrible. Terrible scheduling. <laughs> oh well. We'll have to see how it goes. Um. Going to definitely schedule for 10.30 a.m. next Friday for sure, guys. Sorry about that. We shall see. We got another person in here now, but <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Maybe I should start the IG to get more people in here, but sorry about that, guys. We're going to schedule something new next time, I think is what we're going to do. Let's go. So for now, let's just, I'm just going to go and create a new project for fun then. Uh, let's go to media. Let's create a new project. New project, please. Thank you. Um, Let's just do like. Some kind of pop trappy thing. No, no, no. Let's do like some kind of pop thing. Pop thing. Let's do pop thing one. Yeah, let's try that. Pop thing one. See what's going on. Oh, we got Joshua Good in here. What's going on, Joshua? Yeah, man. There's like nobody else in here because I screwed up, man. My scheduling conflict scheduled with iPad beat making. And I think I may even think that um, Sound Test Room is streaming right now. Let me check. I don't think so, but let me just let me just check if sound test. Because if I schedule during sound test and iPad beat making, good God. Check. What's going on the web browser real quick? Just check in the sound test room. Okay, well, thank God I didn't schedule during the sound test room as well, but <laughs> that's how it goes. All right. So that's how it goes. Let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and find like a pop pork cork progression before people can get in here. Um, let's go to this. Done. Uh, let's go to my samples library. Make pop music. Uh, let's see. Where is there progressions in here I thought they had no that's MIDI files loop MIDI files no I thought they had chord progressions in here somewhere MIDI pack MIDI files oh here we go here's some chord, chord progressions here dun, dun. I don't know maybe we can make an alt pop let's see it's in a pop dark pop EDM progression I don't want an EDM progression maybe like a hip-hop progression Let's see what some of these are. A minor. Yeah, we could do that. A minor sounds good. Try this. Copy this over. We'll share this over. We'll do save to files. And we're going to put this in our Cubasis 3 directory. Cubasis 3. MIDI. Pop it in there. All right. 130 BPM. Let's set it for 130 BPM. Nope. Let's go to our MIDI. Throw this on here. See what this sounds like. Uh, let's see.
Sounds strange. That doesn't sound too bad there. What can do with this? That's weird. What if I just solo this one? Interesting. Solo these two here. Guess we got to pick. Uh, I'll just take this, I think. Let's run through the chord progression here. start with that for now and let's just throw on a uh, MIDI code 7 what's going on bro yeah code 7 yeah I scheduled man such a horrible time I scheduled during iPad beat making and um, I thought yeah I, I think I'm gonna schedule it for 1030 I'm gonna have to schedule it for like 1030 or maybe I'll even yeah I'm gonna have to schedule it for 1030 I'm definitely gonna have to schedule it for 1030 I don't think people are used to the new time yet and um, I also uh, scheduled during iPad beat making. So from now on, uh, it'll be 1030. I have to update all the art and all that good stuff. I'm just playing around right now, making a project here. Uh, let's see. We used a, a MIDI progression from Make Pop Music. Now I'm just going to throw some drums on here from um, our sample pack here. Mini sampler, my presets. Oh, it's still, oh man, I don't even have the big screen on yet. There we go. Samuel, what's going on, bro? Yeah, I it's, I, I screwed up, Samuel. I, I had the wrong, I, I had, um, I really had um uh, a wrong scheduling kind of conflict. Because basically, like, I, I scheduled during iPad beat making. And also, like, I rescheduled to this recently so people don't really know what time. Because I used to stream on Wednesdays, so it's it's going to take a while for everybody to get used to the new streaming day. And now I have to change the streaming time again uh, to 10.30 because I changed it from Wednesdays to Fridays at 8 a.m. Then I changed it to Fridays at 10 a.m. And now I have to change it to Fridays at 10.30. So, like, yeah, it's, it's going to take a while, Samuel and uh, Russ. Hey, guys, it's going to take a while before everybody's up to the new schedule and everything like that. So it's kind of an empty house right now. So that's completely my fault. I'm going to, from now on, from now on, uh, everything is going to be scheduled at uh, 10.30. Fri for, uh, all the live streams will be Friday at 10.30 a.m. And I'm hoping after a couple of weeks, people will, will get it. Uh, I, I, do send it I do send it out in the newsletter as well. But just in case, um, you know, it's, I know it's going to take a while for everybody to get used to it. I, I just really want to get a solid time that everybody, like in the world, knows, okay, Mobile Music Pro is streaming at such time, you know, but, um, which I had until I switched the time up. <laughs> hmm, let's try this one. Let's see, uh, um, but yeah, uh, what's up, Ross? What's up, Samuel? Hope everybody's doing well. Code says 11.45 p.m. there, um, Russ says, hi, everybody. What's going on, Russ? Uh, oh, we got, we're, we're getting some people show up now, showing up now. So I was just going to make something real quick. Let me just finish what I'm doing real quick, guys, and then we'll maybe we'll start the stream now that more people are, are, are showing up. Uh, so uh, Samuel says, do you have OPL? If, if, you check, uh, if you check, it scales on your iPad. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have OPL. Um, is that, what, what's that short for? Because I don't know, is that is that the whole name of the, the plugin or the synth or the effect? I don't know what that is. It might be a synth or something. Uh, GB Cross says, good afternoon, folks. Hope everyone's well. Yeah, yeah. We're just playing around here, guys. Yeah, so just playing around with some stuff right now. Uh, let me just see if I can record something here. I'll change out the drums, I'm sure.
So yeah, just playing around, guys. Right now, um, was gonna make some kind of thing because nobody, literally nobody was in the chat. So uh, we've got ten people in here now. Okay, good. Let me say hi to everybody. Okay, so maybe we can start the show now. <laughs> uh, so hold on, real quick, guys. I was just making this little uh, pop ballad here, but we'll have fun with that later. Um, so let me just uh, go back to the big screen. Uh, so guys, just want to say welcome everybody. Uh, sorry about the conflict. Uh, more people are coming in. Sorry about the conflict with iPadBeatMaking.com. Uh, screwed that up pretty bad. And but from now on, we'll be at 10:30 a.m. every Friday. So I switched from Wednesdays at 10 a.m. to Fridays at 8 a.m. Then Fridays at 10 a.m. And now I have to switch to Fridays at 10:30 a.m. So apologies about that, guys. But we will lock in this time. We will get this going. It will be solid. You know, once we find this the solid time. And I think 10:30 is it. I thought <laughs> I thought the others were it. But I think this one is it. I think we're going to get Friday at 10.30 a.m. From now on, guys, I think that's going to be the one. So let's go ahead and welcome everybody to the chat real quick. Let's say hi to everybody because I see the chat is now scrolling. Uh, let me show you guys here. We got the chat over here always. Got the mic right here, um, camera right here, and I got my, my laptop over here, but you guys can't see that. So you guys are always right here with me. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on with you guys real quick and say hi to everybody. Uh, so hello, GB Craw. Hello, Samuel. Um, Disco's OPL Synth. I do not have Disco's OPL synth. Definitely not, Samuel. I do not have that synth. So sorry about that. Uh, let's go scroll down to GB Cross. Says, hey, what's going on, everybody? Nino Beats says, what's up, Mobile Music Pro? I hope you're doing well, Nino. Uh, everybody's getting in here now. So uh, GB Cross says, upgraded to Cubasis 3 when it was on sale. Uh, won't get to play with it till next week when the holidays kick in, but he's looking forward to it. So GB Craw, yeah, man, I mean, you got perfect timing because the update is going to be here on Monday. So we're looking forward to that. We're going to talk about that today, uh, the 3.2 update. That's going to be a little bit of the one of the topics we're going to talk about today. Uh, we got Sasha in the house. What's going on, Sasha? Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we're not streaming on Instagram today, just YouTube today. So just so you guys know. Um, but yeah, I uh, hope everybody is doing good. Yeah, so we got Joshua in the house. GB Craw, uh, Nino B, uh, 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 Samuel Lindman. So yeah, man, we are doing good. So uh, all right, guys. Code Seven as well. If he's still in here, love you, man. Code Seven recently gotten placing second place on our contest, and we're gonna have another contest coming up soon because we will have a uh, new. Um, uh, sample pack that is coming out so let's just talk about that real quick um guys i got a brand new uh mobile music pro uh, partnered up again with braille audio braille.audio to bring you a, another free sample pack it's going to be coming out january 6th it's going to be fantastic guys because it's going to be a pop pack but it's not going to be just like regular pop it's going to be pop edm and pop trap so there's going to have a bunch of different kinds of uh, genres in there pop hip-hop a little bit as well so it's going to be like just um a bunch of good stuff in there usable stuff of course usable stuff uh, our last sample pack didn't really have too many melodies and basses it was more drum focused, but we are going to make sure that the uh, the new pack is going to be much more me much more melody focused. I think we're only going to have two drum kits in it, or maybe three drum kits, but we definitely will have tons of melodies, arps, basses, uh, chord progressions. Um, so it's going to be fantastic. I hope you guys are going to like that. So January sixth, make sure you check that out. And with that new sample pack on January sixth, that's coming out, we will have a new contest. So make sure you to look forward to that. So. Be on the lookout for that, guys. Now, just recently, I went over to Blind's house, uh, Blind from Braille Audio, and we recorded some content. Um, we recorded some early, early content of him working on this sample pack. And so, um, because I um I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the process because he's actually building it, in, you know, in his big, huge Starship Star Trek big studio uh, that he uses because he's been doing this for 20 years. He's been sound designing for 20 plus years. So he uses Cubase and uh, Cubase the desktop version, and I think he's on the latest version, Cubase 11. He might be on 10, but 10.5. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, I'll give you guys a little bit of the insights into that process. So look forward to that content coming out next week. We're going to be editing that this weekend, and we're going to be hopefully getting that out to you next week uh, to get you guys a little bit more excited about this new sample pack. So uh, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, it. It's really, it was really early guys. Like he only had a, a little bit of time into it at that time when we were, when we recorded. Uh, but I think it's going to be a serve as a great uh, insight into, you know, sort of how this is going to go. So sample packs, January 6th coming out, January 6th, January, January 6th guys. It's going to be awesome. Completely free all for you guys. And um, that'll be January 6th. We'll have a contest again, completely free to enter in that. You'll just have to use the sample pack in order to um, participate in there to create your song. It's going to be fantastic. So that's the one big thing. January 6th, of course. Uh, and of course, happy holidays to everybody. Um, there is going to be no live stream next Friday uh, because, of course, it's Christmas Day. I don't think I don't think I'll be I want to be streaming on Christmas Day. So just so you guys know, there's going to be no live stream next week. So that's, that's going to add to it again, guys. Like, think about it. 
Nobody is going to know this live stream exists for like a while. I've, I've changed the times like crazy. And then next Friday is Christmas. So, you know, it's going to be a minute before everybody is, is acclimated, uh, acclimated to this new uh, to this new schedule, but it's coming. It's going to be great. And I'm really excited because again, we can go for two plus hours guys. Easy. Um, Oh, also Doug from sound test room streams right after us at noon, uh, Pacific time. So I guess we can only go two hours right now. So I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll make it nine 30 so we can go two hours two longer than two hours. I don't know, but, uh, I'm thinking it's going to be uh 10 30 right now so that we don't interfere with iPad beat making and we don't interfere with sound test room. We got that time slot right there. Uh, 10 30, to uh to noon um darn that'll only be an hour and a half ah i'll figure it out guys i'll figure it out we got it we got to figure something out because i i really would like it to be on fridays maybe we'll have to go on thursdays you know uh if that's what we got to do but we'll figure it out um but i really want to do fridays and we'll really i really want to try to do around 10 30 a.m so we'll see how it goes maybe we'll only do 1.5 hour live streams for now and maybe that'll be fine um because you know I, I i want to have some longer live streams on twitch as well where we can sit here and make music for a while and i think that'll be really really fun um because uh, obviously, you know, there's you, you got all the you got all the big people streaming, right? You got Curtis King streaming. You know, you got Busy Works Beats streaming. You got all you got all these big people in the traditional music production world streaming, making beats live. And so that's uh, what I want to do. I want to make music live. I want to make beats live. I want to make a bunch of different things live. So uh, that's what I want to do. So let's um. So that's that's the second news. So no live stream next Friday. And uh, yeah, uh, okay, so the main topic for today, before I go to the chat and see, see what you guys are saying, uh, the main topic I think for today is going to be really um, the uh, the Cubasis 3.2 update. Uh, I want to talk about that one first, and then we'll go into just talk about what your guys' favorite you know apps and effects were for this year. I kind of want to just hear what everybody thinks. Uh, in real time, I want to see what your guys' favorite apps are, what your favorite synths are, what your favorite stuff is working with. Maybe we'll even pull up a couple things uh, in Cubasis to check that out. But uh, that's really what we're looking at today, guys. We're going to check out the update, and we are going to... I don't have the actual update. Uh, I don't have the update live, but we're going to look at you know um, the features and talk about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and check with the chat, guys. So see what's going on yeah 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 everybody oh, oh yeah everybody's in here so cool uh yeah uh nino says hi everybody yeah code seven code seven still in here uh what's going on code seven man hope you're doing good sasha says yeah very good oh sasha got the ravencroft nice i love the ravencroft man i mean it's my favorite piano on ios second would be probably module because they just have so many awesome uh, auv3 presets in there but um uh, i'm going audio unit uh, let's go to Ravencroft, guys. I love it so much. It's just like it's just my favorite freaking piano. Um, I can find it. There it is. Hopefully that's not too loud, guys. That's clipping. go sorry about that guys that should do it so yeah ravencraft guys it's such a beautiful beautiful instrument uh lots of great presets in here uh but i like uh, there's only a few buttons so you can just kind of make whatever you want you know i mean it's just It's beautiful, guys. 
Beautiful sounding piano, so sorry for that distraction. That's what I love about live streams. You know, you can just kind of do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? All right, <laughs> let's see uh, what everybody is saying around here. Let's go back to the big screen. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> let's see what it says. Um, uh, yeah, oh, uh, Meerkat Music, what's going on? Meerkat, what's going on, bro? Uh, Meerkat Music says, hi, all, looking forward to the audio tune. Yeah, uh, the auto tune is coming um, for the update. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to look at that. We're going to talk about that in just a second, guys. I just wanted to... I got sidetracked a little bit by that piano. <laughs> Sasha says it sounds very cool, like the jazz preset. Yeah, the jazz preset is really nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. So everybody sing hi. Meerkat Music, man. Yeah, really, really glad to have you in here. Uh, Russ says, Ravencroft and Shimmer, a match made in heaven. So true, man. So true. I mean, you know what's also great with Ravencroft? Let me let me show you guys this. Is freaking Eventide. I mean, anything Eventide, of course. But, like, hold on. What, let me find this. What is the name of the app that I'm talking about? Let me go into my plugins and just kind of see here. My Eventide plugins, Mangle Verb, right here. That's what it's called, Mangle Verb. Got to mangle that stuff. I wish in, I wish Cubasis Three would show all the uh, lists by the company name because that was really great for me. You know, like Cubasis Two, but Cubasis Three now shows it by the app name, and it's like, uh, but I, I know the company name. I don't know the app name. I know the company name because the company name is obviously like the big, big draw to most of these apps, right? Like that's, that's where the, that's where the money is. That's where the sauce is. But look at some of these presets in here, like some of these crazy presets. I don't like that one. Maybe maybe this was the wrong preset because I was thinking some of these presets are really good in here though. Here we go, like this one. Ah, I don't like those. Sorry guys, sorry. I thought there were some better ones in here. This one's good. See, that's some crazy stuff right there. That's some crazy stuff, guys. All right, we'll stop that. Sorry, guys, I just got distracted there. But yeah, maybe Mangle Verb wasn't the right one. But there's some, there's some in here that has some, there's some reverbs in here that have like just some crazy amazing presets. Of course, anything Pro R is just gonna be the best, probably. You know, love my Pro R so much. Of course, that's putting that on an insert for for some reason. That should be a send. But anyway, <laughs> having some fun, guys. Having some fun with Cubasis. And I'm not even on the right screen. But anyway, whatever, guys. We're we're having fun. Let's let's go ahead and keep going. Um, yeah, my bad. I, I <laughs> Ed B's like I can't see much. Yeah, Ed. Sorry about that, man. I had it on the wrong screen. Um, I'm still I'm still getting with it. I'm still getting with it. But uh, let's go ahead and do a quick cheers to everybody, and then let's go ahead and start talking about our first actual uh, topic here so cheers to everybody hopefully everybody's having a good holidays it's been a crazy year i know but i just really want to say cheers to everybody and hope that you will have a good holiday and hope that next year is going to be better so cheers to everybody to you and yours wherever you are and whatever you are drinking Woo! we are drinking some coffee over here from dunkin donuts and that stuff is powerful all right <clears throat> let's see what we got here so let's go to our first topic guys 
Uh, I got it on big screen. Sorry again, sometimes I, I'm not on the right screen, but I'm getting I'm getting better and better at it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I actually kind of wanted to move the camera a little. Ugh. Oh, that's too much. Let's see what that looks like. Eh, that'll work. But yeah, uh, so let's see. Let's take a look, guys. So, um, Steinberg announces Cubasis 3.2, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, Steinberg today, uh, this was a couple days ago, announced the forthcoming release of Cubasis 3.2, the latest update, and uh, we're looking forward to that. So, let's go ahead and see what, what's in here. So, now, there's a lot of people that have already checked out, you know, have already had the update early and uh, have, have shown, you know, demos of, of of these plugins already in action. So, sorry, I can't do that for you guys yet. We have a video that will be coming out for that on Monday. Or, or next week, I believe I'm going to do a short video of that. And that's another thing. Uh, we're going to start doing shorter format versions of videos on the on the main uh, channel as well. Because um, I want to do, I want to have like my normal, you know, uh, format that we have now. But then I also want to have a quick just like a quick update format as well with no major intro, no major outro. It'll just be like starting out just like this, like, you know, it'll just be me starting out right here, uh, just like this and then showing you guys something and then talking about something. So it'll be like kind of like a more of like a quick update. Those would be like a few just short, short videos. And I want to do something like that. The first of those is going to be with this new Cubase update because I don't want to do a whole full video about the update. Like, it, you know, uh, it, it just it just um, there's not enough new things. You know, there, there's a couple cool things. Things, but all of that can be pretty much shown off in like a five minute, you know, video. So uh, I think I want to do that. So we're going to start, we're going to try that a little bit. Uh, that, this will be the first video of that. Um, uh, and we're going to release that next week. So we're going to play with that. But that should be fun. A quick little five minute video. There's going to, oh, and there's going to be no premiere. Those won't have premieres. Uh, we're, so the normal form format is, you know, is a full on tutorial video with a premiere and an intro and an outro and all that. Uh, that's still going to be the main uh, format, but we're also going to now have this new format uh, that's going to just be a few minutes long with no major intro, no outro. It's not going to premiere. It's just going to be uploaded directly to the channel. So let me know what you guys think of that in the chat. Let me know if you guys think, if you guys are excited about something like that, uh, because that way um, I can get out, uh, you know, some of these cool things like um, that I couldn't do a full video around. So I think this is going to be really great for that. Uh, so uh, some of the amazing additions, guys, coming to Cubasis 3 is, of course, those exclusive uh, exclusive Waves plugins. So let's take, let's see if we can make zoom in on this picture here. So we got these two new plugins coming, guys, from Waves. Now, these are going to be exclusive to Cubasis. This is kind of like a little bit of what Aria Pro did. You know, they, they signed some exclusive deals and made some plugins exclusive on their platform. Now, personally, I want to hear what you guys think about this in the chat as well. I'm not super excited on exclusive plugins. I mean... I don't know if this, I don't believe this happens too much in the desktop world where like there's like, there's, I mean, obviously every DAW has its own unique stuff. Of course, that that's fine. But like, but everybody knows that like Waves is universal. They don't have their own DAW, you know, on the desktop. All the Waves plugins works in every single DAW on the desktop. So, you know, I'm not too excited. I think this is just, um, par for the course, this being this early in the stage, uh, being this early in the game uh, that Cubasis is, I believe that's completely fine because they sort of have the ecosystem kind of locked up right now. But as we expand in the next five, 10 years in this decade, um, you know, I believe that the exclusive deals are going to run out. Remember, they all have timed. They're all timed, I'm sure, for, you know, certain certain amount of times and things like that, uh, contracts and such. So I'm sure that these will come to AUV3 within the next five years. Waves, we'll see. It's just that you know, the, the, like I said, we're so early, the audience is kind of small. So when they, if they can funnel their resources through Steinberg, through Cubasis, uh, a built in established audience already, well, then that could be very beneficial for them. I personally don't think they needed to do that, but that's, that's what, that's what they're going to do. So they're going to go ahead and, and do that. And that's fine. You know, we can, they, they can do that for now. Um, personally, since Cubasis is my DAW of choice. It's not going to affect me very much because I'll be able to have those no problem. But I do believe that eventually that's going to that's going to go away and it will emulate more of the desktop world. But it is, guys, got to remember, we are kind of a small, small ecosystem right now, music production on the iPad. Uh, as that grows and matures, there will be a bigger audience and there will be more of an incentive for them to go ahead and just release AUV3 on their own. Because remember, Steinberg is going to get a percentage of those profits, right? So why would they go through that way when they could just go in AUV3 and have 100% of the profits you know uh, for themselves minus of course the app store so we'll see how that goes uh but yeah i'm, I'm excited uh these have been demoed the h delay is a long time running plugin these are long time running plugins on the desktop 
very, very uh, well known. A uh, lot of great presets, a lot of great uh, workflow on here. So this is going to be fun. So these two new plugins are coming uh, with the new update. So we got um, the Waves Real Tune. And we got the Waves H Delay. Now these will be in-app purchases, and so you're gonna purchase those separately. Uh, they're gonna be Insta purchases for me personally, just because of the um, H Delay, really. Uh, but I also like to use that Auto Tune as well. And you know, Audio Tune from uh, Audio Kit is great, but man, the amount of control that you have over the sound with this with this app is 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 a lot more. You get a lot more control with this particular app than Audio Tune. So, but of course, Audio Tune works in any DAW. You know, but since I do work in Cubasis, it's going to be the audio tune for me that I'll be using the Waves uh, audio tune for me. Even though we did make, you know, the uh, audio tune one of the top five effects plugins of the year because, you know, we just, we've been waiting for something like that for so long and they, we finally get it. Um, and then, of course, you know, then Steinberg comes out with this, but <laughs> it's fine. I still think it's pretty funny. So that's the big first thing is these two new plugins. Let's see what you guys think of that real quick in the chat. Let's see what we got. All right, all right. <laughs> Ed B said, well, let's, let's scroll up a little bit more. Yeah, so you just guys can see, like, you know, I'm looking over here at your guys' chat right now. Yeah, yeah. See what everybody is saying here. Black Hole, no doubt. Yeah, Samuel Lindman says Black Hole, Reverb, no doubt. Yeah, maybe it was Black Hole that I was thinking of with all those amazing presets. It wasn't Mangled Verb. Probably probably Black Hole. I'll have to check that out. Uh, from From, again, from... The amazing, amazing uh, plugin company called Eventide. I just love saying that name, Eventide. That's the name of like a movie, right? Like some kind of, uh, some kind of disaster movie coming. Eventide. I think so. See what you guys think. But yeah, uh, Samuel Lindo says black hole, no doubt. Nino Beat says uh, still, st still hasn't gotten black hole reverb. Uh, Nino Beats, it's a great preset. It's a great plugin, man. Like I might pull it up here in just a second. I'm really looking forward uh, to, to every even type pre every every even type plugin that comes out. They're really really good. Uh, yeah, GB Cross says sorry to hear that. <laughs> uh, oh no, Ed B says I am drinking disappointment today. Ed B, what's going on? Uh, but yeah, Ed B says Black Hole is his favorite favorite even time plugin. Absolutely one of my favorites. Uh, GB Cross says glad to hang in the group like this. Reminds me of some of the fun. Some of the fun stuff that's out there, absolutely. We got 12 people right now uh, in the chat. Again, guys, thank you all so much for joining. Thank you guys so, so much. I'm really having a good time. Uh, I started the chat today for the first time. I started this live stream today for the first time with nobody in it. It was kind of trippy uh, to have nobody there. Um, let me just turn this camera a little bit more. This way. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Yeah, so, but yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, it was just like starting the chat with like nobody there today. It was... Um, it was a trippy experience. <laughs> I just started like making music. I just started making a song because I think that's going to be pretty fun because that's what I want to do in the future is, you know, make a lot of songs here uh, live. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, Sasha says, I was wishing the update would give him more options uh, to manipulate. I mean, yeah, even Tide's got plenty of cool stuff in there. So let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got. Um, yeah. Uh, GB Cross says, Steinberg, MIDI Learn 2. Yeah, I would love to have the MIDI Learn, guys. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Sasha says, we need the MIDI Learn. Absolutely. We, hey, one step at a time, I guess. We got the keyboard shortcuts. Thank God. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, finally. I don't even have a keyboard here, but I will. I'm going to have put a keyboard right here, guys. Like, check it out. Like, just so you guys can see, I'm going to put the, the keyboard pretty much right here. Because I have nothing here right now. So I'm going to put the keyboard just right here. Um, and I'll be able to... Blah, 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 blah. And then I have my regular uh, keyboard here. So yeah. Um, first time, I'm finally going to get a keyboard. It's funny because, you know, I had a, a keyboard and a mouse in the early iOS, like six or seven days when you could still crack it. And I had an external hard drive. I had a keyboard and a mouse. And it was I was like rocking, dude. And then uh Apple killed the jail, you know, the the, the jailing of the, of the iPads and stuff like that. So... We had to wait about, <laughs> like, what was it? I had to wait a few years to get, uh, for iPad OS to finally come out and give us all these things that I had before, which was the mouse, uh, the keyboard, the um, files app and things like that. So now we're now we're cooking, you know, on all cylinders. It just had to be that way, I guess. I'm, I'm always seem to be too ahead of the curve when it comes to technology. I don't know. But uh, I was a little bit too early there. But now, now everything is beautiful. Um, you know, I got my mouse. I got um, now I'm gonna have my. I'm gonna get my keyboard. I've got all my external. You know, I've got all my external controls controllers here. Um, so it should be really, really great with that keyboard. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. 
Uh, so let's see. What, let's, let's keep going here. Wasabi is in the house. Wasabi says, "I uh, wish Waves would just uh, would just be apps in general. I don't like them being limited to Cubasis." Yeah, you know, they're, I, like I said, it's just early days, guys. I know I'm not a fan of it either, but I believe it is just because it's early days. Um, I, I'm I totally totally don't see Waves because think just look at the desktop, just look at the desktop ecosystem, and that's what that's where we're headed. Right, we're headed somewhere like that. So when you, when you get a little bit scared, I mean, you were probably upset as I was about Aria Pro doing the same thing, right, with Fab Filter plugins. I mean, are you kidding me? Like, I was like, I wanted those Fab Filter plugins so much for so freaking long, and they were only exclusive to Aria. So you know, I mean, the, the, we're going to break away from that type of thing eventually. We're just a little, a little bit early days, guys. A little bit early days right now. Ed B says it is nice that we get the delay. Uh, yep, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Wasabi says he personally loves H delay. Absolutely, dude. Uh, I mean, H delay is fantastic. Oh, I lost my place in the chat. Let's keep going here. Let me scroll up. Uh, yeah, Wasabi says just passing by. My PC is updating, so I can't work till it's done. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad you're here, Wasabi. Uh, glad you could make it, man. We're gonna have to change the time again. I think to 10:30 probably. Ah, I just gotta find a date and time. I just and I'm just, you know, I'm so uh, uh, sorry to my audience. That I just can't narrow one down here. But we will, we will eventually get one down. Of course, it just um, this interim is is a little bit frustrating. But yep, yep. Um, Ed B says good luck with the update. Hopefully, it's less buggy than Apple's updates. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Cubase update is gonna be great. Um, but yeah, uh, Ed B says yeah, even Tide is a badass name. Hell yeah, Jade Star is in the house. What's going on, Jade Star? Just had a recent interview with um, Jordan Rudis, I believe. Make sure you check that out. Jade Star's YouTube channel. We always get a lot of good content creators in here in the chat, so definitely make sure you check those those people out. Uh, Jade Stars just again interviewed um, Jordan Rudis. Jordan Rudis followed me. You're not gonna believe this, but Jordan Rudis has actually been following me for years uh because i i come uh my uh, my uh i was i was coming from the bitcoin world if you guys know what bitcoin is and uh, in the bitcoin world I, I was pretty big and uh big enough i guess to attract jordan freaking rudis man uh like i think it was like a 2018 he started following me i'm like holy crap it's like i couldn't believe it it was kind of nuts but now of course he follows me on mobile music pro as well but yeah jordan rudis man shout out to jordan um uh he he's a bitcoiner He's a Bitcoiner, guys, believe it or not. Jordan's been following my Bitcoin account for years, man. So shout out to Jordan Rudis. Shout out to Jade Star. Awesome, awesome stuff. What else we got? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wasabi says his schedule's messed up. It's all good, bro. Like my schedules, our schedule's messed up as well, for sure. Welton is in the house. What's going on, Welton? Hope you're doing well. Welton is in the house. Welton says, H delay is very creative. Yeah, it's true. I mean, that's what's dope. See, like, I mean, like, if we go to, yeah, if we go to, like, you know, Cubase's standard delay, it's not bad. It's just, um, let's go, if we go to internal effects, delay, like, it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's very purpose built. And I like it. Um, I actually use it a lot because, you know, it's built in, so it's fast. And some of the presets are great. We got some dotted presets, you know, in here, which is cool. But, uh, you know, it sounds very digital. It's not, it doesn't sound very analog-y. sounds very digital. Um, and, of course, they also have, but, you know, Cubasis has a bunch of delays. Like, if you go to the um, uh, FX Pack 1, I think, yeah, we got, like, tape delay, stereo delay, long delay. So there's a cool, there's a couple of cool delays in here. Specifically, the stereo delay has got some great, great stuff in here. You see what this sounds like. Nice. Turn that off. All right, let's turn this back on. So, you know, there's lots of, there's a bunch of different delays in here as well. Um, long delay. So very, 
very purpose-built stuff, but man, that H delay is what I'm looking forward to. I mean, that H delay is going to be so freaking nice, dude. Let's see what this uh, tape delay sounds like. Sounds like a spring reverb, or a spring delay almost. Meh. You know, doesn't sound like anything too special. So I'm just really looking forward to those new Waves plugins. That should be really fun. Just want to see something here. Now that I'm on here, I just want to see audio units. Do I have? Yeah, I got black hole. I just want to see if there's some of the presets in here. Pretty. So yeah, really cool stuff. Um, let's go back here. Really cool stuff, guys. Really cool stuff. So let's see what else we got in the chat going on. But yeah, so H delay is going to be really creative. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Jade Star says, Jordis is a class human being. So nice. Yeah, Jordan Rudis, man. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet uh, in, in your, on, your, in, on your entire life. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Uh, Ed B says, great Vortex, having Jordan as a viewer, he is the man, yeah, yeah, Jordan is gonna, you know, and again, Jordan's got, you know, his his apps in there as well, so just another big name that's in the app business right now, of course, he was early in, but still, like, this is awesome, he's still releasing new stuff, obviously, just released the GeoSwam stuff, um, all that amazingly modeled, you know, r r uh, modeled instruments that are just fantastic, so he's still in the game, and I, I love it, dude, I love how uh, the ecosystem is still going, and, and attracting uh, people. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what people are saying. Uh, something says that there's an issue with Ravencross. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the latest update. Jade Star says, Stay, steer clear of the latest Ravencroft update because there are some problems with it. I don't really update my apps very often, so I, I definitely don't have the latest version. So definitely make sure of that, guys. Make sure you steer clear of that. I definitely don't... Um, definitely did not not do that if you guys look at my updates it's probably like massive but yeah so let's go ahead and then let's just finish out the youtube here and then uh go to the next features uh yeah we get the update next week from the developer okay okay cool so yeah so let's talk about just the the, the next thing so the next big update here guys uh, in addition to those two you know big huge uh, waves plugins are, that are coming is the keyboard shortcuts so i am really super super looking forward to this um if only just to hit the play button on the space bar guys like that's the main thing that i just want to do i want to be able to just play like right here like you know i'm i'm I, i'm just playing with my my keyboard right here i want to be able to just hit play boom you know um it's like not it's, i'm not asking for too much So, you know, I want to be able to just hit play and just hit the play button and then go. Um, just play. Or or the record button, you know, just hit the record button. It's going to be fun, guys. God, I love the Ravencroft. Because you, you can just, oh man, the sensitivity on it is beautiful. You can go like super soft. We can go like super hard on it. Hopefully that's not too loud. Nope, that's pretty good. But yeah, so uh, just, oh, I still have the black hole reverb on. Or, oh well, still. Uh, just a fantastic piano. 
cool so i'm really looking forward to the keyboard shortcuts just hit play boom ready to go ladies and gentlemen so uh keyboard shortcuts gonna be freaking awesome uh the main ones i'm gonna be using is the play the record and that's the main two play and record i'll probably use the grouping button because that's kind of handy instead of having to go all the way up to the select button over here um you know to select your stuff i'll probably i'm just gonna hit the button you know uh just uh, there should be just a select button and then i'll be able to just boom boom select everything like that uh, oh and the erase i'll probably use the erase a lot um as well to just maybe i'll no i'll use the cut i'll use the i'll use the copy the paste the erase for sure um, yeah, I'm going to be using a bunch of those tools, guys. It is going to be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to that. Keyboard shortcuts. Are you guys going to be using them? Let me know in the chat if you are going to be using them because that is going to be big. Uh, what time is it? Check the time. 11 a.m. Okay, so uh, yeah, we still got another hour to go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Very cool. Um, yeah, so from now on, we're probably going to start at 10.30. So we'll only have like 1.5 hours, but... It's better than nothing, guys. It's better than nothing. It'll be good. It'll be good enough for now. I will. I really wanted to go two hours, but it'll be good enough for now. I think that's what we're gonna do. 10:30 a.m. on Fridays, we get 1.5 hours. Then you got the sound test room right after that. So we'll have iPad beat making, then Mobile Music Pro, then the sound test room. So I think that is the plan. Um, yeah, that's the plan. And we're gonna tweet about that too in the future. We'll be like, yo, know, Friday content, guys. Make sure you check it out. iPad beat making. We got Mobile Music Pro. And then a uh, sound test room after that. So, yeah, I think it'll be fun. Keyboard shortcuts. <clears throat> I want it, guys, so bad. So, that's coming. Uh, let's talk about that. Hopefully, you guys let me know in the chat. Are you guys going to be using that? And are you guys excited about those keyboard shortcuts? The next thing here, the next big thing is the multi-core rendering. Now, according to Jamie Malander, the uh, the performance in the audio unit category here because of this multi-core rendering is much much better so i'm really looking forward to that um i have uh, you know I, i've definitely been experiencing having the slowdowns and issues with having a few uh of these audio units running and i have the 2018 ipad pro with you know one terabyte so it's got the six gigabytes of ram and uh it's still you know i'm having some performance issues with audio units but so i still do all my big big projects in cubasis too but with this multi-core rendering i'm really um really looking forward to testing that out and seeing how that's going to go because you know jamie says it's good and um uh, you know they wouldn't release it if it wasn't good so i'm really looking forward to it. like this has got to do something because if you think about it what the heck guys you know the ipad has had multi multiple cores since 2015 you know i mean with the dual core ipad uh now we've got like eight plus cores or something on on the 2018s and stuff so let we, we we're definitely going to need this going forward so i'm really glad this is ready to go and then of course they got some some other improvements which we'll look forward to one of the improvements that i found that i saw on the, the sound test room from doug is the zoom capability so hopefully we'll be able to use um our our, our mouse to scroll up and down uh to be able to zoom that's what i'm doing right now i'm using my mouse uh, to scroll up and down on this browser and i'm really hoping that the new version of cubasis will allow us to scroll up and down with our uh, mouse like that so i'm really hoping that's going to be really cool uh, that's an addition because it says keyboard and mouse support guys right keyboard and mouse and mouse so i want to freaking be able to scroll through my presets and scroll without having to like you know go like this you know with my finger i want to i don't want to have to go up and down with my finger i want to be able to use my mouse here my mouse that i have right here on the side and be able to just up and down so that's going to be fun really looking forward to that um they better better support scrolling so that's because that's what they say mouse support guys says right here mouse support so mouse supports can be fun multi-core rendering really looking forward to that let me see what you guys think about that in the chat let's go ahead and take a look and see what people are saying so we got uh russ in here says i may miss some parts of uh stream tonight got a build popping in suppose well we're not streaming tonight russ maybe you're talking about maybe he's talking about a different stream we're, we're only streaming fridays 10 30 a.m a.m uh pacific um and that's 1 30 p.m eastern standard time uh jade star says those new swam brass apps coming soon are awesome yeah the geo swam stuff all, all those stuff are just sounding beautiful personally i don't i don't even have a need for such like beautifully modeled instruments because most of the music i make is like hip-hop pop edm kind of stuff so you know i mean there's not a whole lot of real 
need for like real instruments in that category because the strings all sound good you know the synths all sound good so i just i haven't had a really need for those but man and especially the prices the prices are just a little bit a little bit too steep for me 80 bucks for all of them and stuff so i just don't need it when i have uh digital instruments that sound pretty good especially like for, with pure synth oh my goodness there is so many excuse me there's just so many instruments in pure synth i just don't have a need Ed B says, I hate that you can't go back to a previous version of iOS. It's tough, man. It's true. Like you can, but it's a pain. You have to download the, the ISO like manually and it's crazy. Uh, it's yeah, I don't advise it. I really don't. Uh, I don't think that they, maybe they don't even allow you to do it anymore. I know at one point you could, you could, you know, they always had the, the, just the previous, but only the one version previous behind it. So whatever it is, like if iOS 10 is out right now, then they would have the nine. And if, if iOS 11 was out, then they, they, would, they would have the 10. But they would only have one previous, and you could download the ISO and, you know, install it yourself. But it was not, not pretty. Not pretty, guys. Yep, so Sasha says, what do we got here? Um, dun, dun, dun. Uh, Ed B says, I installed those five beta SWAM apps, and I have to say that I really prefer those. Uh, I really, prefer to, I really prefer, prefer to play those instruments in GeoShred. Um, but those horns sound awesome. Yeah, um, dude, the GeoShred app itself is is so beautiful. Like, I just kind of want to pull it up real quick, to be honest. It's just so cool. Like, we got the Geo for, for, Maybe for those that don't know, you know, we can just pull it up real quick. But here is the GeoShred app. And, um, you know, it is, uh, it's a pretty penny for all of those brand new GeoSwam instruments here. 75 bucks. It's, you know, it's a chunk of change to have all these. But they're they're supposed to be really, really good. Um, we can just, you know, you can hear a sample of like the tack, the, the sax, for example. And since I can't even play, you know, the, the instruments that good, I just don't, you know, have much of a need for them. But the guitar stuff is really fun. But it's so much fun to play with these things, guys. And then you, what's really fun, then you want to try to go like as fast as you can, like... But yeah, it's so much fun. And then of course you just got to put on like some kind of you know loop in the background you could put on a number of different loops like uh i got a session band rock gotta go to the mix f sharp <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> all right, I'll stop. I'll stop, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is so much fun. But that is the GeoShred app, and it's just unlimited amounts of fun in there. Um, so yeah, GeoShred, guys. Make sure you check that out. That was <laughs> that was pretty fun. Um, let's see what we're going on here. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So you were, Russ was talking about a different stream. Okay. Yep, yep. So, yep. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, yeah, Russ says hopefully he will only be an hour... Yeah, okay, cool. 
Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Jade Star says um, that they should probably be released separately. Those Swam uh, instruments, that'd be cool. I mean, well, you can buy them separately, you know, in the app. So, I mean, I guess that's the same thing. You can buy them separately, but it's seventy five dollars for for them all. You know, fifteen dollars a piece. Um, so it's a little bit a little bit crazy. But Jade says I've been running Cubase's three point two. Only had one crash, but it was my fault. So that's good. Yeah, Jade Star. So Jade Star says three point two is going good. Um, you know, again, Jade Star says it's good. You know, Jamie Malander says it's good. These are amazing content creators um, that are in the beta program of Cubasis. And we would be in the beta program too, but it's, it, you know, we're, we're trying to run a channel. We just didn't have the time uh, this year. We're hoping to look, we're hoping to go into the beta program next year and, uh, and, and really start to help out and test and things like that. But we've got so many things to create, guys. I've got so much stuff on my plate right now. I just couldn't do it. So we're kind of on the outskirts with everybody else. We're kind of in the regular retail market since we're, I'm not in the, you know, the beta program. But still, we have amazing people like Jade Starr and Jamie Malander who are in the beta program and they can report back to us. And they're, they're, they're telling us good things. You know, they're telling us good things and we trust them. They have amazing, um, um, they have amazing reputations, both of them. So uh, I'm looking forward to them. But yeah, Ed B says, I, uh, yes, those GeoSwam, uh, those GeoSwam instruments are amazing. I love how expressive you can get with the GeoShred interface. It feels intuitive to me. To it feels intuitive to me as a guitar. Uh, yeah, it's true. Like it, it's, it feels a lot more like a like a guitar fretboard layout. I agree with you, Ed. Absolutely, it really does. Um, Sasha says, I like the, I like the Cita stuff. S I T A. I don't know what that is. The Cita stuff. There's some amazing Indian guys playing. Oh, cool. For sure, for sure. Oh, yeah, and Samuel says, don't miss the expression X and Y pad. For sure, yeah. I mean, that, that's fun, too. That's fun, too. But it, it's so much more fun to, like, to just drag your finger across the string, you know? Um, I probably should have, like, showed the other view of that, but it was it was fun. Samuel says he's off. All right, Samuel, have a good day, man. See you, see you later. We're going to be out of here as well in one hour. Um, and then, uh, sound test room, Doug from sound test room will start his show. So really nice to see you. Um, Samuel, thanks for joining, man. Really appreciate it. We've been streaming for about an hour now. Cause we started at 10, you know, we wanted to go from 10 to, to, to noon, but we're going to change that up from 10 30 to noon, uh, from now on. So yeah, uh, I think that'll be fine for now. I really would, again, wanted to go two hours, but it's just not possible because Friday is going to be the best day to stream. And the only slot really available in the morning is, is going to be 10 30 to noon. So we're going to take that slot and we are going to uh, use that. I believe that's what's going to be going on. Big Baby! Big Baby Productions. What's going on, brother? Uh, Big Baby's, of course, uh, always in the Elbow Media stream. ElbowMediaStudios.com. Uh, both ElbowMediaStudios.com and Big Baby Productions uh, work together on a new sample pack. So make sure you check that out. That sample pack is fantastic. Um, that is the KIK Keep It Crunk sample pack at ElbowMediaStudios.com. Uh, for so big baby, if you're just joining us, we're just check for anybody just joining us. Uh, we got ten people in the in the stream. We're talking about the new uh, Cubasis 3.2 update that's coming, and you know we, we're talking about the keyboard shortcuts, uh, the mouse shortcuts. We were talking about the Cubasis Waves plugins that's coming, and the multi-core rendering. Really, really excited about that, and uh, I wish we could get like a whole big old. Um, uh, you know, list of all the different things that the update has, but we don't get that until it gets released, you know, on the forum, I believe. Because, uh, yeah, because uh, we can we can check the form. We can just double check the form real quick, but I'm pretty sure that we, we don't get that. Um, Q basis forum Steinberg. I just want to double check because I really would like a, uh, you know, a whole long list. Um, let's see here forum i think this is the forum ba, ba, welcome to the new steinberg forums thank you ladies and gentlemen all right let's close that um let's go to the uh how do i go home i want to go to the go basis this let me see here is this the right forum i'm looking for let me just see here. I don't know if this is the right... Because I thought there was a Cubasis 3 forum. Or is it all just Cubasis? Cubasis? But this is not the one that I look at, I don't think. Well, maybe it is. But anyway, um, there is no 3.2 you know, update in the post yet. So uh, w once that is out on Monday, they'll have a big, huge post here. And you'll be able to read all the different updates. like Just like they do with all the other ones. Like if you go to 3.1... Uh, like right here. They should go through all all the updates. 
Yeah, see? All the different things, and here it is, all the different histories and stuff. So this is for 3.1. Uh, I, I want to see this for 3.2, but we don't have this available yet. So that'll be available on Monday with all the different updates. Again, you'll, you'll get your main updates here, you know, the big updates, and then uh, Lars uh, will give you all the little updates here that just goes on and 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 on so that was 3.1 so i'm looking forward to that i want to see that currently though again uh the, the 3.2 update is not available until monday 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 let's see here is there any new stuff in here yeah nothing from lars so okay cool so we'll close that up go back here but yeah, so that's what we're looking for because you know it says 45 plus improvements, and so that's what I want to see, and that will be in the uh, in the forum once uh, Lars once this is released, that'll be in the forum on the Steinberg forum there. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. So we got a little bit of time left. Uh, I would like to know, you know, what what everybody's uh, what everybody's top apps are. If you guys want to talk about that for a little bit, uh, let me just go to my let's go to YouTube here. Go to youtube.com slash mobile music pro. Boom. You know, we released our top five. Uh oh. We released our top five video here just recently. Uh, top five AUV3 priests or top five AUV3 plugins. And um, if we scroll down to the description, come on. There we go. Scroll down to the description. So here's was our top five. You know, the Mixbox, uh, Koala, New Rack, Audio Tune, and Woot. That was our top five AUV3 effects of 2020 because I really don't care about the app if it's not AUV3, to be honest. I just, I kind of don't have time for it. It's too long of a reach, really, except for a couple of exceptions. Like, there are a couple of exceptions. I'll tell you what those are. The loop apps, right? Like Launchpad and Blocks Wave. Because you can just audio bust these bad boys or export the, the the wave files. You know, these are the only apps that that I would do something with that, um, for example, that, that that are not AUV3. They would have to be, they have to bring something pretty special to the table like Blocks Wave does, where you can just like switch out any sound you want. What do I have in here? Let's listen. So yeah, uh, that app is fantastic. I'm trying to look for the mixer. I forgot where my where my darn mixer is. The mixer is gone from this place. It's gone. Mixer, where are you, mixer? I don't know where you went. I will find you, maybe. Maybe not. I've lost my mixer. I'm pretty sure there was a there was a mixer in Blocks Wave, right, guys? Where you can you know adjust your sounds for each individual, the volume for each individual thing. No. What the heck? Could have sworn. Oh well, we'll get to that another time. But yeah, that's the only reason why I would uh, use something that is not AUV three. So that's our that's our that's our picks right there. Mixbox, Koala, uh, New Rack, Audio Tune, and Woot. Let's see what uh, people are saying in the chat for some of their favorites. Um, yep, 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 yep. Big baby. Yep, yep. Big baby says thanks for the plug. No problem, bro. Um, yeah, man, it's gonna be nice getting all those plugins. I love it, dude. Uh, there's just so much stuff out here. Uh, oh, we got Jay Joey Helpish. Joey, what's going on, man? I don't think I've seen you in here before, so very nice to see you, sir. Thank you so much for for stopping by. Really appreciate it. We still got about ten people in the chat here. Uh, let's see. Big Baby says I have been playing with the new Clevgrand AUV3 Pipa. So yeah, uh, Clevgrand guys has got so many of these freaking percussion apps now. Like it's like their thing now. 
um because they released a lot of cool effects but now like these days they're just releasing all these um all these percussion apps it's kind of crazy i can't spell guys can i clev brand deutsch um, yeah, here's Peepa, the vocal synthesizer. So if we click on Clev Grand, so yeah, I mean, look at all this, guys. I mean, they're they're getting they got Ting, T I N G. They got this new Peepa. Uh, they got Shaka. Um, you know, I mean, there's they're, they got some cool um effects as well. Uh, a lot of people use Modly and Reamp. Uh, fantastic AUV3 uh, effects, so they make effects. But they've been on a roll with these um percussion synth, these percussion instruments lately, particularly with uh, Hillman synth, Ting, and Peepa that's coming out. So that's pretty cool. They got some. I thought they had some other ones as well, some other percussion apps. Some uh somewhere around here. Oh, pads and tines, nah. I guess that's their main per percussion apps. But yeah, a lot of fantastic apps, guys. They are big in the uh, mobile music world. And they also have desktop versions of pretty much all this stuff as well. So it's really, really cool. Uh, but yeah, here's that Peepa app. It's 10 bucks. Um, they don't have a video? Come on, Clev Grant. I I've seen you use videos on Instagram. You need to put those videos right here in the store, bro. Put those videos in the store so we can see them. But this is the uh, this is the app, Expressive Vocal Synthesizer. I mean, is it really big, baby? Like, is it really useful? I mean, or do we just still go into our vocal stabs in our in our in our sample libraries? I mean, is this is this? I mean, does this really replace uh, our our all of our vocal stuff that we have in our sample libraries, or or what? I don't know. Let me know, big baby. Let me know. I mean, what what are the range of voices that I can get out of this thing? Like. I don't know. We shall see. It'd be cool if you can type in a, you know, if you could type in some text and it would come out. Uh, that would be cool. But that'd probably, that'd probably be a different kind of synth. But anyway, let's keep going. All right. So we're starting to get some favorites in here, ladies and gentlemen. Ed B says, Groovebox and Launchpad are also great apps from these guys. Um, those three apps play very well together. It's true, yeah, with Ableton Link. Obviously, uh, Henny the Business uh, uses those a lot in his... Uh, silent beat making videos and I love them as well I don't use them really enough because I got so many darn samples I don't use them enough but I really should because I buy a lot of their samples um like I have a ton of stuff in blocks wave guys if we go to browser like look at all this stuff I have I got a lot of stuff a lot of different stuff in here so I should probably use it more but that's cool I go to my loops what do I have in my loops got my session bands Box wave and launch pad, so you know. uh then I oh well, see. I have another one, but oh yeah, a groove box. So um I have my groove box app as well. So you you know, groove box plays super well with these looping apps. So you can load up groove box, you can load up blocks wave and launch pad, and like all three together, like you should be able to get something pretty cool. Uh I wonder what would happen if we load up just for fun, if we load up groove box and just load up Blocks wave. Watch these two play with each other. Let's just get the drums going in blocks wave. And let's just see what we got going on here in our Ableton link. Enable the link. Go to our Ableton link. We are enabled here. Connected to one app. So we should be able to just hit play here. And then play something here. Whoa, that's the drums? Oh, it must be the super slow BPM. We need some better drums than this, guys. Hold on. We need some better drums. Thank you. Even that's better than what we had.
let's see if we can get a pattern. Just we'll just generate one real quick. Give me a generate pattern and play. All right, we got a ghost tail. Pull up launch pad, maybe. Then you gotta add another instrument in here somewhere. So yeah, that's a couple of apps. So we'll stop all that now. So yeah, that was Blocks Wave. Uh, Groovebox and Launchpad all playing together and that was a heck of a lot of fun and that's how you do that Super super fun. Uh, let's see Sasha says Where are we going here? So Sasha says uh, f Hold on one second there er, Sasha says my favorite effects this year Saturn 2 Mammoth Bliss chorus and Woo. dude Saturn is amazing guys Saturn 2 for you guys that don't know you guys got to get some Saturn going on uh, Let's go audio units Saturn 2 real quick see here Saturn where are you Saturn come to me Saturn Saturn 2 yeah love Saturn 2 guys some of these presets are really great that's pretty Pretty crazy cool effects, guys, um, in here for real. I love this clean tape. The clean tape is really nice. Very, very cool. Saturn, fantastic app, guys. Fantastic app. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ed B says, no mixer. Yeah, it's in the launch pad. Yeah. Ed B says, uh, groove box and launch pad. Yeah, already did that. Very cool. So yeah, favorite effects from Sasha was Saturn 2 Mammoth. Mammoth is fantastic. Oh man, we got to play with that real quick on a bass, though. I mean, that is just incredible, you guys. Mammoth is so dope. We go to Mammoth on here. Mammoth L M L M N Where's my mammoth? Mammoth I'll find there you are. Make this a uh, let's go ahead and make this a base of some variety. Base, base, base. 
this sounds like here. All right, let's turn this up a little bit. Man, that sounds so good. Look at this. Without it. And with it. Just fantastic stuff in here, guys. Such good presets. Yeah, Mammoth. Fantastic preset. Uh, Sashwa says Continua Drambo Wavetable Yep Big Baby says It's okay He prefers the sounds in The vocal sounds In Pure Synth Yeah So that's what I'm saying So from Pipa um, You know I don't think We need Pipa uh, No offense to Clevergram Clevergram's great I just For me personally I don't, I don't think I need Pipa Because Pure Synth Has so So many Um You know uh, So many sounds in here Including vocal stuff Like if you guys don't know If we go to Pure Synth you guys can see here that there is a ton of vocal presets here. Make this big. And we go to vo voice and choirs. Look at this. Voice and choirs. There's all this stuff. So much stuff, guys. <laughs> I love it. Love it, guys. Love it. fun so yeah lots of just lots of vocal presets inside of pure synth under the voice and choirs category very very cool sasha said oh uh, yeah yeah so um what else we got sasha says scala is too expensive yeah uh, scala is too expensive on the desktop yep yep Let's see what else we got here um uh, you'll get it when it's on sale uh, to oh, Tippy, uh, Tippy's in here. Tippy paid it. I don't think I've seen you either. Got a couple new people on this new, on this brand new time slot, uh, that we got going on. So, uh, Tippy, nice to see you. He says, when I watch your iPad, I wonder how much it is worth now. You should keep it in case with good code. Uh, when I watch your iPad, I wonder how much it is worth now. So, um, yeah, so, so what we have here, what, what, what I have here is the, the 2018 uh, iPad Pro one terabyte and this is perfectly fine because this is just as good as the 2020 they're, they're, The only difference really is the 2020 has slight, slightly slightly better graphics processing capability You know, that's really about it um, This this iPad that I have here is is is, 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 is really great now this older I now this other iPad here um, This other iPad over here now that is my old iPad. That's the 2015 iPad Pro That's what I'm using right now is just to have chat on it um but yeah, I'm piping everything that you see in here 
uh, from this iPad here uh, into the laptop over there. So yeah. But yeah, they, I mean, it's a great, fantastic iPad, uh, 2018 iPad Pro. Uh, definitely, definitely fantastic. Um, should keep it in a hard case. Yeah, I have a hard case uh, for this one as well. This one definitely does have a, uh, a case on it, as you can see, like the flap. I don't know if you can see that flap. Probably not. But there's a flap on it. So uh, we have a case on that. And then I have this iPad stand here. It's a pretty expensive, sturdy stand. It's an $80 stand. But it was worth the investment because I can just tap on this this iPad like no problem like you know nothing I can play on it and it's nice and stable so there's no problem there um, but I really recommend that that stand it's a fantastic stand but yeah it's gonna be fun what else we got here oh yeah yeah <laughs> Ed B says there you go groovy Sasha says warm yeah that um uh Absolutely fantastic. Uh, that Saturn plugin from uh, Fab Filter is nice and warm. Welkin says, I have Launchpad recordings in Cubasis cut to four bar loops to have the ability to add MIDI synths. Yeah, dude, that's dope. I mean, Launchpad is great. You you know that what you do is you take all those, you take some of those stems or, you, you, you know, you record that into your, your major DAW of choice and you got yourself um, a great start for your next track. It's really, really great. Uh, <laughs> Ed B says, damn, you're trying to sell us on Saturn. I am already totally broke as heck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I really, I, you know, it's it's a fantastic app though. Uh, it's really great. Um, S Mammoth is great as well. If you as you guys heard there from the uh, from the bass example, just fantastic stuff. So much. There's just so many options now for so much so much great things, guys. So many great things. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Sasha says I love the UI, black and red. It's true, dude. Mammoth's UI is fantastic. Look at this. Look at this interface. It's beautiful. It's everything is clean, you know, right where you need it. Um, right, everything is right where you want it, right where you need it. The it's just so simple. Um, oops, that's not what I want. But it's just so simple to be able to get what you the sound that you that you want out of your bass like really really quickly. So it's really really great to have that. It's great for metal bass. It's great for any kind of bass. Of course, metal you know is designed for rock and metal, right? But Dude, you can use this plugin on EDMs, uh, on bass synths as well for like EDM and hip hop. And it's just, I mean, this thing can drive any kind of bass and it's really, really fantastic. It's a little expensive, but it's just so nice. Yeah, see, Sasha says, and for dark side bass lines. Yeah, for hip, e EDM as well, absolutely. Any type of techno EDM, uh, it is it's really, really great. Um, uh, uh, see, Tippy says, I've just bought a whole bunch of audio kit stuff on the Black Friday. Very happy. Yep. Uh, you know, definitely get all the audio kit, um, the audio kit limited edition apps, you know, because they go down to down to $4 during these sales. Otherwise, they're limited edition. So they go back up to $100. So you want to get all of those when you can on sale. Uh, they're all pretty great. Um, the, the ones that I mainly use, I guess, is the 808 bass synth. But I kind of use pure synth a lot more than that i guess just because that's just my workflow uh pure synth i use for a lot of things so um there's just so many things in there um yeah yeah what else we got in here uh let's see jade says i love um i love aum mixer mammoth bias fx2 strummer mix box saturn 2 manook gaz looper and pro r yeah fantastic um i don't know if all of those came out this year or not jade um I'm pretty sure the Pro R and Saturn. I'm pretty sure the Pro R didn't come out this year. Maybe it did. Um, I'm. I think Saturn though. Saturn came out this year though. I believe Jade. Uh, I believe Saturn came out this year. Um, but yeah, Jade's really into the rock stuff. A lot of rock music, I believe, on Jade's channel. Really good stuff. Um, so of course, um, you're gonna love that Mammoth and uh and Bias FX. Fantastic stuff. Uh, what else we got? Um, Welton says what we need in Cubasis is the ability to search plugins per name. Yeah. Um. I mean, that'd be great. See, all I would love to do is like, if we, when you pull up your list, is just have a little text box up here, you know? Just have a little text box at the very top, right here, like a, where you can start typing. You know, just a little text box right here at the top. You just start typing and then boom, you get your, you know, you get your, otherwise we just have to endlessly freaking scroll. And I don't even have that many plugins, guys. Like, I, and I use all my plugins pretty much. Like, you know, I use all these um, for the most part. I mostly use all these. So I'm, I, I kind of use whatever is the latest and the greatest for the most part. But I, I pretty much use all these. I don't really have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six pages. And, you know, this is like a pretty standard amount that people have. There's people that have way more than I do. 
you know, because I have the TB, I have the tone boosters, of course, and a bunch of the four pockets, and of course, um, uh, all the fab filter, a bunch of even tie, DDMF, and of course, all the FAC plugins, and um, a bunch of audio damage. But like that's like pretty standard. I mean, I don't have, I don't think I'm overdoing it really. Maybe a little bit, but not very much with audio plugins there. So you know, we need to have a little, we need to have a little text box up there. I think be able to search through all those. Um, now Nano Studio Two, yeah, you can search through presets in Nano Studio Two. We have a a video on that where Nano, you can where we show that Nano Studio Two allows you to search for through all of your presets and all of your instruments. So for those that don't know, if you pull up Nano Studio Two. You can pull that up and it will actually uh, detect all of your AUV3s and allow you to search. So if we go to a um, Obsidian and if we choose a different synth, for example, uh, let's see, user, uh, no, factory or user, let's see, where is it? I think I need to go to AUV3. So yeah, that's what I need to do. Uh, back, add AUV3. And then, so here we go. So here's all of your instruments, as you can see on the, on the left-hand side here. Here's all your instruments. And it detects all of them, you know, pretty much. And then you just, uh, the top right-hand side, search for your preset over here. So you could, so make sure you tap on all here, and then we'll search for like pluck. And as you can see here, it'll on the right-hand side, it'll pull up all the plucks for Addictive Pro, Model 15, Module Pro, Model D, you know, Synth Master Player, whatever you have installed. It'll find all the plucks across all of your different synths. So this is Synth Master Player. Oh, we still have this playing. Mute all of you. So here's this pluck. This Juno Pluck in Synth Master Player. Boy, it's beautiful. So yeah, that's how you can do that, and that's probably one of the only reasons I really have Nano Studio 2 still installed, probably. I mean, um, it's a great DAW, but man, they really need to get their act together with audio support, but they will. I'm sure they will eventually. It's it's a, it's a like a one-person developer team, you know, pretty much, where, you know, things like Steinberg obviously has a little bit bigger team, but people underestimate the size of the team of Cubasis as well. Like, it's not the Cubase team, guys. The Cubase team is hundreds and hundreds of people, like hundreds of developers. The Cubasis team is like a team of like 20 people and like two programmers. I mean, pretty much like it's a small, it's a much scaled, smaller down team. But nevertheless, it is a team with the resources of a large company where something like, you know, Beatmaker and um, and um, Nano Studio 2 don't quite have those resources and capabilities available at their fingertips like the larger companies do. Um, so it's easier for them, for the larger companies to have a bit of a monopoly over that. But, you know, Steinberg is kind of moving kind of slow, you know, arguably, um, with Cubasis 3, um, you know, we only get an update every six months or so. I wish we'd get an update every three months or four months, every quarter. I would like an update every quarter. I mean, that'd be nice, but, you know, uh, I'll sell it for what we can get. Right now, we're getting updates like every three to six months, essentially, mostly six months. Uh, our last update for Cubasis was in June or July, um, like major update. They did a hot fix in September, but... 3.1 was the last major update, I think, in June or July, and now we're getting another major update here in December. So, you know, mm, better than nothing, I guess. We got some hot fixes, so that's cool. Um, I, but I, at this rate, you know, we're probably, it's going to take a few years to, for, before we can get any anywhere close near the desktop. You know, um, I would say that Cubasis 4 coming out probably 2023, 2024 is going to have a lot more stuff, guys. I really think they're going to, now that they have this new code base to go from, I think Cubasis 4 is going to surprise a lot of people when that comes out 2023 2024 the ecosystem will be will be even bigger you know uh, to be able to support that so we'll have to see how it goes oh jade's got to go so later uh later jade says later vortex so see you later jade um yeah we, we only got a, a maybe 15 20 minutes left and then we're gonna bounce as well so yeah yeah uh yeah jade said pro r is 12 months old 
exactly. Oh, so the Pro R did come out this year then. So Pro R and the Saturn from Fab Filter came out this year. Uh, so cool. Thank you for that, Jade. Very cool. Absolutely. Um, Russ says Synthmaster, all the Bleas apps, and some of the Four Pockets apps. Yeah, Synthmaster guys is my oh oh mm, like Synthmaster guys. That's my jam. You know that is my jam here. I really love Synthmaster. Um, there's just so many possibilities. I use it on everything. You know, I use it for trap. Use it for EDM. Use it for everything because you can just it's got it's got presets for everything. So if we go to the browse, um. Where am I going? To the browse button here. If you look here, you can see that. Hmm. Why can't I browse that in full screen mode? That's weird. Browse. There we go. So as you can see here, guys, there's just insane amounts of presets. Like look under the instrument type. You can search for the instrument type. Or you can search for like the style. You know? Um, like we can search for EDM or house or whatever or pop. Of course, I like to go through the pop a lot of the times uh, here for the synth master stuff. Oops, still had Nano Studio 2 open. A great little percussion, great little percussion loop there. So just 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 so many guys just like endless endless amounts of pianos and keys and um you know all sorts of stuff that you need oh, christmas day we got a christmas day preset Play with the mod wheel. Pretty pretty, kind of a pretty sound there. guys power keys just you know synth master dude endless endless presets to go through so fantastic app really really love that that was from russ russ says synth master is one of his top apps probably going to be one of our top apps as well let's not forget uh clev glan uh bruce fee uh yeah for sure clev glan uh, that's a great effect bruce fi um that's a great effect i'm pretty sure i have that somewhere in here um but that's really great uh, Joey help us says I'm new the new updates to Korg module this year have been a huge game changer for me Oh, really? Yeah, Korg module has some I mean what I love. Uh, yeah, the AUV3 for Korg module has definitely definitely made me use that more I mean, absolutely guys. This is just Fantastic for those that don't know uh, the Korg module has gone AUV3 this year and it is a joy to use There's just so many presets in here. Um, I you know my favorite ones really uh, in here are going to be the ivory presets. These ivory grand pianos with like maybe the strings. Um, these are just, it's just so pretty, guys. You see here. Yeah, let's try this.
Oh yeah, I got my sustain pedal. But yeah, guys, so pretty. So pretty. So I highly recommend uh, these, the, the Korg module here. There's lots of great presets in here. Even their guitars are kind of cool. Lots of great stuff in here, guys. Uh, Korg module, definitely fantastic. Did I get the dreams? Oh, I did get the dreams. That's the organ there. Ooh, the choir. Fantastic. But yeah, guys, just wanted to show you that. Really good stuff in there. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Jade Star says, okay, I'm out. Got to make breakfast and get to work for the day. Absolutely. Uh, got to organize the show for this week and Patreon stream. So absolutely awesome, Jade. Uh, yeah, make sure you follow Jade Star. Uh, she's got a Patreon. She's got a YouTube channel. Fantastic uh, iOS mobile music production content. Check that out. Um, really, really great, uh, really great stuff. So yeah, so we'll see what else we got here. Um, oh, Sa uh, Sandrini's music studio, uh, Sandrini, what's going on, Sandrini? Yeah, uh, we're starting at a new time, so it's gonna be. We started today at ten, but we're gonna be starting at ten thirty from now on. Um, yeah, yep. Sasha says I'm expecting more from Steinberg, uh, uh, as from Nano Studio. Yep, for sure, for sure. We're expecting more. We're expecting more. Uh, <laughs> Sasha says the only thing that's annoying in Synthmaster are the knob controllers. A little bit. A little bit, but you get used to it. You get used to it. Uh, yeah, Joey says got all the new packs. Absolutely incredible. For for real, dude. Uh, the Synthmaster packs are awesome. Um, Tippy says I've tried I've tried to have Synth One and Digital D One from Audio Kit. I want to connect them both to Cubase and use as MIDI devices and use animation automation via Audio Bus, but I have failed. I can only use Audio Signal. Um, why don't you just use both of those as AUV threes inside of Cubasis? Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, oh, you want to connect them to Cubase uh, and use them as MIDI to, oh, yeah, ooh, to send MIDI out, huh, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't know how to do that one, that one's gonna be tough, um, I know Audio Bus, no, I know Ableton Live supports desktop, uh, I'm not sure if Cubase supports Ableton Live, I'm not sure how you do that. You probably would just be able to get the audio out. I don't know if you'll be able to get the MIDI out too. You'd have to like simultaneously like broadcast your MIDI to like both, you know, both devices. Um, any tips to do that? I really don't have any tips except for, you know, keep the stuff in AUV3 inside of Cubasis. If you're using Cubasis, uh, record all the MIDI and audio there. Um, but if you're trying to get your, use the iPad as an instrument for your desktop for Cubase, then you're probably only going to get audio for the most part on that unless you get like like i said a midi splitter and you just record your 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 midi simultaneously inside of cubase so you can so you can still have your midi and in addition to your the audio that's coming through but you won't be able to i don't think sync the midi you know between cubases and cubase um you can always you know record in cubases and export your project to cubase uh, there is a, a importer project inside of cubase to be able to import cubases projects so there's that way as well um but the probably easiest way is just going to be to, you know, send the audio and broadcast the MIDI to both devices. Oh, let's see here. Um, Joey says, I did a film score using orchestral dreams. And they asked how I could afford an orchestra. <laughs> Joey, oh my God, you guys hear that? Oh my God, that is funny, dude. Oh my goodness. They said, how could you could afford an orchestra? That is so freaking dope, dude, because that's how good it sounds.
Man, beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, just awesome stuff. That's so funny, dude. That makes sense because this is, you know, we, we have a lot of one-to-one -one stuff now, you know, on the iPad, from the iPad to the, uh, comparing it to the desktop. There's a lot of one-to-one -one, um, when it comes to quality. You, you know, we're getting one-to-one -one on a lot of different stuff. I mean, the module, uh, the Pure Synth, these are great examples. The Ravencroft is a great example. Um, and of course, you know, Mixbox and some of the other apps, the FX apps that came out this year, another great example. Um, just fantastic stuff, guys. That is freaking funny, Joey. I want to read it again. Joey said, Joey Helpish said, I did a film score using Orchestral Dreams, which is a uh, Module Pro uh, in-app purchase, and they asked how I could afford an orchestra. <laughs> oh my God, Joey. I love you, Joey. Representing iPad Mobile Music Production. Joey Helpish, ladies and gentlemen, fantastic stuff. Um, really, really good stuff. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, uh, Tippy says I'm in Cubasis, but my phone corrected it to Cubase. Oh, yeah. So Cubasis. So just make sure you use all your AV, AUV3. Just use those all AUV3 apps inside of Cubasis, two or three. Um, you know, and you, then it's just like a regular DAW. You record all your stuff in there. You'll have your MIDI. Um, you'll have your MIDI and your uh, audio. Um, you know, like if you record, like for example, like if I just recorded something from this module, you know, I'd have the MIDI and the audio because it's a MIDI track so I can record something. And, you know, you could play that back. So, and of course you can turn that to audio just by freezing the track if you want to. If you want to just work with the audio instead, um, and then you can unfreeze it and just remove the, the audio track if you want. Um, but yeah, or you can edit the MIDI of course. But that's pretty much, just use your AUV3s inside of your DAW, you know, just like a regular DAW. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, uh, Joey Helpish says, after there is three hours from three different iOS producers, yeah, Pete Johns, then Jade Star, then me, and my show, How To Song. What, Joey, you got your content creator? Um, man, pop your link in the chat if it lets you, then. That's dope. Uh, let, let people know. I'll, I'll Google you, man. Uh, Joey Helpish. I don't know, I don't know you had a YouTube channel. Um, if you're doing this Fridays, that means a four hour block of iOS producer live stuff on Fridays. Yeah, I think that's dope. Yeah. Jo like I was, I'm, I was mentioning that earlier, Joey, where it's going to be, um, we used to be on Wednesdays, but now it's going to be Friday. So for our live stream, so Fridays, it's going to be iPad beat making at 10. It's going to be me at 1030 and, um, then sound test room at noon. And I don't know, um, when, um, Jade and Pete Johns stream, but they just stream all the time. So hopefully they're right after that. Um, but there should be a lot of different stuff out there for sure. Big Baby says, I'm out, bro. Got to go back to work. Yeah, man. Big Baby, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to get out of here in about five or ten minutes as well. So thank you so much, Big Baby. Uh, make sure you check out Big Baby and um, Elbow Media Studios. Oh, we got Sandra. Sandra, how you doing? We got our moderator, Sandra Nelly, in the house. Thank you for joining us, Sandra. Yeah, uh, sorry about the times. Um, you know, first I had it at Wednesday at at 10 a.m. Now, then I had it at Friday at 8 a.m. And now I have it at Friday at 10 a.m. But now we're changing it again to Fridays at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. So 10 Fridays at 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be doing a Fridays because I guess iPad beat making already had the 10 a.m. slot on Fridays. So we're going to do 10.30. And um, again, shout out to iPadBeatMaking.com. Make sure you check out that uh, channel. But that's that's going to be the plan. So, uh, yeah, Sandra, that is our new time. Dante Cooper in the house. What's going on, Dante? Uh, fantastic Instagram account, if I'm thinking of the right Dante. A lot of good stuff on his Instagram account. Make sure you check him out. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Tipa says, thank you very much. Need to go for aunt's birthday. All right, yeah, see you later, man. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, tip, see, Tippy Pada 
Belfer Z Tiktaka. <laughs> That's so much. What kind of name, bro? That's so many words. I can't. I can't pronounce that many words. I'm just gonna call you Tippy, I guess. <laughs> uh, T I P Y Tippy. Um, yes, yeah, Sandra says sorry she couldn't make it earlier. She was working. Uh, yep, yeah, no problem. Um, yes. Yeah, Dante says, that's me. Yeah, Dante, follow Dante on Instagram. A lot of great um, mobile music production content. But yeah, Sandra, no problem. Uh, the new time slots for live streams will be Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we're about to end the live stream now, guys. Um, so let me just go ahead and pull up my project that I was working on earlier. Uh, just It's from a previous project, but I just thought I'd use it for our intro today, you know, just to have, a, have some fun. Um, so let's Let's see, let's turn this down, make sure this is down. All right, let's try this. Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. So, guys, I uh, just wanted to say thank you again so much for joining us, guys. We had a great, great, great time. Uh, we're about to take off. Oh, Sandra said they, Sandra just started a new YouTube channel. Uh, so, Sandra has a new YouTube channel as well. Make sure you check her out, Sandra Nelly. Um, brand new YouTube channel as well. Uh, Joey Helper says, I do live songwriting shows daily now. Whoa. And make hundreds of songs a year. Goodness. Um, yeah, Joey, like, seriously, that's what people are, like, doing now in order to be able to create their stuff, man. They're doing it live. That's the only time we have. Um, that's the same with me, too, as well. I want to be doing, I want to create a bunch of, um, songs in Cubasis live on Twitch eventually at some point as well because it's just so much fun. It's the only time I'm going to have to, like, make music. So, um, we're going to do that as well. Uh, we're really looking forward to that, guys. So that's coming up. Make sure you make sure you check that out. But uh, for now, we are streaming every Friday at 1030 a.m. Make sure you join us. Um, we're not going to be here next Friday because that is Christmas, Christmas Friday. So, guys, sorry, we're not going to do that. But we'll be here the following Friday after that. We have our brand new sample pack releasing for free on January 6th. Make sure you check that out. That's going to be 100% free. It's going to be called a pop pack. It's essentials pack two. All of our essentials packs are free, and then our, our our premium pro packs are going to be paid. But our first paid pack isn't coming until I think until March, so it's gonna be a while away. But we're gonna get this free pack out there January sixth, and then we're gonna do a contest on it. So make sure you look forward to that. If you want to stay tuned to all of the updates, make sure you go to mobilemusicpro.com. Check out our free mailing list. You'll always be updated every week. There we send out updates. We send out you know. Um, discounts we send out information so we, we recap all the videos that we've done so definitely make sure you check that out we have a lot more content coming that way as well that's mobilemusicpro.com i just want to say thank you guys so much for joining us thank you for everybody in the youtube just do a quick shout outs real quick um again thank you sandra nelly uh thank you joey helpish guys make sure you check out that channel really really cool uh um russ thank you so much man big baby production sasha's in here of course as well holding it down uh tp pada thank you for being here um really really great time guys uh ed b of course man you're everywhere jade star welton love you guys so much um sean mccann let's not forget <laughs> clev grand bruce free sean mccann yeah sean mccann man thank you for joining us uh he slipped in there at the last moment i didn't see you there uh but thank you for joining man really appreciate you being here uh so many other people sorry if i didn't get your name guys but we had a great time here uh we usually have about 10 to 20 people in here for our stream hopefully we'll get more and more as the time goes on but uh i'm just in the middle of changing all the darn times and confusing the heck out of people so we'll figure it out but thank you guys so much so much for joining us uh we're gonna be here again the friday after next and of course we will have a brand new video coming out next week which is the top five auv3 instruments so make sure you look out for that we just released our top five auv3 effects make sure you check out our top five auv3 instruments coming out next week next wednesday at the normal time guys 8 a.m pacific uh 11 a.m eastern center time thank you again so so much for joining us we hope you guys have a fantastic week have a have some have some great holidays guys you know eat some great food open some presents it's been a crazy year so we really just really hope that um you know everybody has uh, uh has some family and uh to be able to to lean back on and you know uh, to, to your loved ones and everything like that guys make sure you, you, you sit around the campfire tight because this has been a crazy year we need to all huddle together we need to all spread the love and just keep on creating so again guys thank you so so much for being here we will see you again next wednesday for our next video thank you guys so much hope you have a great great weekend and of course guys until next time please keep talking music we'll see you guys later Bye bye